Hi everybody, it's Brad from the Big Family Homestead channel, and in this video I'm going to share with you six cool, unusual, odd, or maybe just not so well-known uses for rubbing alcohol. So let's get cracking. Rubbing alcohol. Well, we generally know that it's used for a topical antiseptic, uh, antibacterial cleansing agent, and uh, good for your skin for cuts and scrapes and all that kind of stuff. We know that because we've been doing it for years, and well, it says so right here on the label. In this video, I'm gonna share with you six cool things that you may not have heard of, maybe a little lesser known, or something you know that I just found interesting, six different cool uses for rubbing alcohol. Warning. Rubbing alcohol is dangerous stuff. Don't mess around with this. Be safe, be careful. These are just suggestions. I'm not telling you what to do, but I am saying be safe. Don't be dumb. An emergency can heater. That's right, you can take a, uh, a, you know, remove the core of a toilet paper roll. By the way, I have a video for this if you wanna check it out um, on how to do it, that it's really easy. You, you remove the core of a toilet paper roll and you ram it really hard, the toilet paper down into a painter's can, an empty painter's can. You fill it up with that rubbing alcohol and it makes a fast, clean burning heater that will heat up a room real quick. So an emergency heater, be careful though, the, uh, the, uh, the clearly the alcohol is very flammable. You don't wanna catch anything on fire. That would be very, very silly and unnecessary. Be careful. You can use rubbing alcohol to spray on a window that's frosted over. Let's say that you gotta get gone and you don't wanna be out scraping your windshield. Uh, so what do you do? You just take out some old spray, spritzer spray, uh, spray down the uh, windshield and it will just kinda slosh right off and you are on your way, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. You can use rubbing alcohol as a way to clean a candle. Not a lit candle, mind you, that would be very silly. Once again, the flaming and the burning and the no, 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 not a lit candle. But let's say that you're like, you know, I don't know, me, and you have some candles laying around that you haven't used in a while and they get a bunch of uh, dust in there. Well, you're just gonna take just a little bit of rubbing alcohol on say a washcloth or a rag of some kind you clean it out like that and then you leave it sit. Leave it sit, let it air out, let all those fumes go away for quite a while. But then you don't have the whole <laughs> thing happening if you light the candle and there's like a half inch of dust in there. So there you go, cool use. You can use rubbing alcohol as a way to get ticks off of your pets, your animals, your livestock a lot easier. Basically get a cotton ball, get it good and soaked with that rubbing alcohol and sit it right on top of that little critter. It doesn't, they do not like the smell and they're gonna try and wriggle away and wriggle away and then all you gotta do is just gently remove them, kill that beast, get rid of it, whatever you're gonna do, and then clean off that area with the rubbing alcohol. So bam, another stinking awesome use. You can also use rubbing alcohol as a shapeable ice pack. Yeah, that's right, it's pretty cool. You take one part rubbing alcohol to three parts water, put it in one of those watertight Ziploc baggy things and freeze it up and then you can bend it, move it, manipulate it and make your boo-boos feel oh so much better. And lastly but not leastly, at least for this list, you can use rubbing alcohol in a fine mist sprayer to get rid of pesky fruit flies and gnats. Just spray it in the air, they smell it, they don't like it, bam, they're gone, down, down, down. Be careful though, once again, no open flames. If you're spraying this stuff where there's a candle, you're gonna be in for a world of hurt and probably an emergency room visit. Pay attention, be careful, be safe. Also make sure you don't spray it where it's gonna adversely affect whatever's underneath it. So use at your own caution. So there you have it folks, six cool uses for rubbing alcohol. This stuff is handy. Gotta keep it around at all times, I would say, lots of uses for it. Please do not forget to put your uses down there in the comments below. If I've missed something that you found was cool or unusual, uh, please put it down there. So anyway, also, subscribe. Come on, people, hook a brother up. Subscribe, pass the video around, you know the drill. I greatly appreciate it, so does my family. You guys have an amazing day.